reminded of your greatness, Father. Your word says, Lord, that you never sleep, nor do you slumber. And thank you this morning for reminding us that even when somebody is asleep here in Sri Lanka, that there are people who are up. You have created this world in such a way that truly, Lord, we, this world, this earth does not sleep all the time because we have made it like this. And what a comfort to know that there are praises, that there are petitions going up to you from one end of the earth when the other end we are nicely comfortably asleep. And Lord, how much we experience your protection, your arms holding us together when we slumber and you are up. So even as we come together to pray, to acknowledge, Lord, your greatness, your mercy, your power, and your might this morning, we pray that you would help each one who is here, that you would reveal yourself to us, that you will reveal yourself through your word, Lord, your powerful word, which you have given to us. Help us to acknowledge who you truly are. May we delight in your presence. May we delight in your word, Lord. May we delight in who you are, even as we meditate on your words this night and for some of us this morning. Help us, Lord, in Jesus' name. Amen. Amen. So we are continue, going to continue to look at the scripture this morning. Share the screen with you. Psalm 89, a few verses from Psalm 89. And I'm going to read it aloud. Let's all uh, read it aloud together if you are in a position to do it. Uh, let's re revel in these words that describe who God is and let our mouths speak it out and our ears hear it and receive it into our whole being. If some of you are not in a, a place, an environment where you cannot speak, where you can where you can speak it out, maybe you can whisper it and let your ears hear it. Let's take it in this morning. O oh Lord God of hosts, who is mighty as you are, O oh Lord? With your faithfulness all around you. The heavens are yours. The earth also is yours. The world and all that is in it, you have founded them. You have a mighty arm. Strong is your hand. High your right hand. Righteousness and justice are the foundation of your throne. Steadfast love and faithfulness go before you and how grateful we are that you are like this. Blessed are the people who know the fester shout, who walk, O oh Lord, in the light of your face, who exult in your name all the day, and in your righteousness are exalted. For you are the glory of their strength. By your favor, our horn is exalted. For our shield belongs to the Lord, our King, to the Holy One of Israel. How grateful we are, O God, that you have chosen us, that you have revealed yourself to us truly. We are considered righteous because of you. So as we go into our prayer time, Prashan is going to take over and we continue to reflect on the same scriptures and we will continue to pray. Let's take a moment to uh, reflect on those words again.
see who God is really to us today. See all that the psalmist says he is. Or have we brought him down to a, a different level? Where we know him only in our heads but not in our hearts. Acknowledge him as almighty and yet panic for the little things that come our way every day. Let's take a moment to reflect. God, our Heavenly Father, we thank you this morning for reminding us once again of how wonderful you are, how majestic you are, so that we could be still and be in awe of you. For indeed, you are mighty. There's nothing that is impossible for you, nothing that is too difficult for you. You are the all-seeing, all-knowing, all-powerful God. And Lord, we trust you in our situations today. Because you have been faithful to us. You have been faithful throughout the generations. And every morning, we see your mercies. Thank you, Father, for undertaking to do those things that we haven't even thought of. Thank you for your faithfulness to us. Thank you, Lord, because everything we have is from you. Every good and perfect gift is from the Father above. And Lord, we want to thank you for all that we have. You are the good creator. And Lord, we want to thank you for the work that you are doing in our lives for creating in us a clean heart and Lord for helping us to walk in your ways thank you because you are indeed righteous there is no shadow of turning in you you are just Lord thank you because you work justice in this dark world we live in through your children. O oh, steadfast God, you are a hiding place. You are the one in whom we take refuge. Yes, God. You never change. You are dependable. Yes. And when we are shaken, we run to you. Find strength. Father, we want to thank you for the redemption you've given us through your son, Jesus Christ, our Lord and our King. We thank you because um, on the cross, Lord, you took our sin and you gave us your righteousness. Not only are you righteous, O oh God, but you also are righteousness. And we thank you this morning. Because we are able to stand before you, to come boldly before your throne of grace in times of need. Because of who you are. Thank you, Lord, for giving us worth. 
because of his son, Jesus Christ, the worthy one. Thank you because today we are called your children, sons of the most high God, because of the cross. Thank you because we no longer, Lord, see ourselves the way we used to be, but who we are in you, in Christ Jesus, a new creation, your workmanship, partnering with you in your mission. Living lives that are no longer defeated, but victorious because of your spirit who lives in us and gives us power, enabling us to overcome every ploy of the enemy. We are indeed more than conquerors through him who loved us. The Holy One of Israel. You have made us in your image to be holy just as you are holy. Thank you for imparting your holiness to us, your spirit in us, the Holy One living in us, enabling us to live lives that honor you, that glorify you, that magnify you. And we praise you, Lord. Help us never to lose sight of who you are in our lives. As we read the scriptures, Lord, help us to remember how great and majestic you are. In Jesus' name we pray. Amen. Would you pray for the body of Christ this morning as Kishani takes over? So let's just uh, refresh our uh, minds once again as we look at that portion from the psalm that we, uh, Psalm 89, that we looked at a few minutes ago. Uh, blessed are the people who know the festal shroud, who walk, O Lord, in the light of your face, who exult in your name all the day, and in your righteousness are exalted. Heavenly Father, we thank you, O Lord, for the body of Christ, for the privilege of being able to partner with you, O Father. We pray, O Father, that um, we would, as a body, as your body, as your representatives on this earth, O Father, would be deeply grounded in knowing Jesus, O Father. We would remember, O Father, as we looked at earlier, that righteousness and justice are the foundation of your throne. And steadfast love and faithfulness go before you. And that we, your people, O oh Father, the Lord, ought to walk in those characteristics that only come from knowing you. In, Lord, being in your presence, O oh Father, in allowing ourselves to be transformed daily into your likeness. We ask, O oh Father, so that we would experience, O oh Lord, the power of the cross, O oh Father, that great sacrifice, O oh Lord, on Calvary in our daily walk, O oh Father, daily going to you, O oh Father, daily, O oh Father, growing deeper in understanding your love, your justice, your mercy and forgiveness anew, O oh Father, and thereby to grow in spiritual maturity, O oh Father, more and more in that likeness of Christ, O oh Father. Father, we pray, Lord, that as your body, though we are placed, O oh Father, in different regions, different countries, different places, O oh Father, that we would, be, we would be united in that one truth of you, O oh God, based on your word, led by your Holy Spirit, O oh Father. And let that foundation, O oh Father, be that which grounds us, that which is our rock, O oh Father. And we pray, O oh Lord, but even as we know the times are at hand, O oh Father, and we see so many things taking place around us and your word being fulfilled, O oh Father. We pray, O oh Lord, that your body would have that quickening in, in the spirit, O oh Father, and be bold to reach the lost for your kingdom, Father, because we know you do not desire anyone to perish, but that all would come to know you, Father, to your salvation. We pray, O oh Lord, for spiritual discretion, for that courage and boldness, for that wisdom, O oh, Father, for your body, in reaching out your people, in laboring in your windyard, O oh, Father, many, many more souls, O oh, Father, would come into your kingdom, O oh, Father. 
We thank you, O oh Lord, once again for this privilege, O oh Lord, to be part of the body of Christ, O oh Father, in Jesus' name. Amen. Amen. Father, this morning we continue to uh, pray for our World Outreach Ministries, for Pastor Thomas, for the leadership. Uh, Lord, we, we ask, Lord, that you continue to uh, reveal yourself to them. Um, we thank you for their heart, Lord, to uh, make the nations to, to, uh, to, to know you, Lord. Uh, Lord, for all that they do uh, in, in reaching out to communities that, that don't know you. Father, we pray that they would be a light in the area that you have placed them. That they would continue to influence many towards knowing you. And uh, Lord, we thank you for this privilege we have uh, here in Sri Lanka of connecting with with uh, WOM and being part of uh, this time of worship and this time of praise and prayer uh, for uniting our hearts together in your Holy Spirit, Lord. Thank you, Father. In Jesus' name we pray. Amen. you so much um prashan and kishani and manosha it is uh, it is um so encouraging to to have you with us um tonight in your morning and i, I just want to thank you for highlighting that psalm it is beautiful um and you know even as i said the um the previous person talked about not you know, um, lifting persecution up or lifting the enemy up, you know, above Jesus. And so I just want to thank you that that is what you did. You know, you lifted Jesus up tonight, no matter the circumstances. So I just want to thank you, you know, for your love for the Lord and, and for his word and just lifting him up tonight. So thank you so much. I appreciate that very much. Thank you very much for this opportunity. I'm sorry, Minosh had to leave a few minutes ago. And uh, I know Pastor Sharina and Pastor the Reaper uh, send their love to you uh, and to your church. God bless you. Thank, Thank you, Reaper. Please send our love to them as well. You have blessed us beyond, beyond measure when we were visiting there, and we would like to thank you so much. We love you in Christ Jesus. We thank you. All best. Bye bye. Bye. Thank you very much, Jeff and the team. Lovely to see you. God bless you. God bless you. Um, before you go, I would just like to. I don't see um, Principal Rusu on on the call yet. So can we just pray for your church? Is that okay? Father, I just want to thank you so much, Father God, for Pastor Shireen and Dalipa. I thank you, Father God, for the leadership. I thank you, God, for every member of that church, Father. I thank you, God, that, Father, your hand of blessing is upon their heads. I thank you, God, for the great example, God, of your love, God, that is so evident in that congregation, Father, in every person's life, Father, I thank you, God. Father God, I thank you, Father God, that your word says, Lord, we can love you because you first loved us. And Father, that is so evident, that is so evident in that congregation, in that church, Father God. Father God, that everybody has experienced father god your love you loving on them and father it is through the hands and the feet of those that are in that congregation father god and so father i just want to thank you god as you have healed people up father as you have restored them through your love father god lord god that they would continue father god to just love you back father god and lord desire to please you god in everything that they do father god i just pray for such an increase father in that agape love father in the name of jesus father god 
Father, I just want to thank you as well, God, for your, your hand of protection, Father God, that is upon them, Father. Lord, we know that there is also persecution that they face, but I thank you, God, Father, that they'll keep their eyes on you, God. I thank you, God, that they will follow their leader, God, which is Jesus, Father God, and that they will be obedient, God, that they will do, God, what you desire for them to accomplish. And Father God, I just want to thank you, God, for the the, the translation uh, programs, Father God. I, I want to thank you, Father God, for, Lord, for the ministering uh, to uh, to one another, the, the discipling in, in that church, Father God. And so, Father, we just call in the finances, Father God, for those programs in the name of Jesus, Father God. Father God, we just thank you, God, for... Lord, those those I want to say those that were that were present at the Holy Spirit Alpha Weekend, Father God, whose lives were touched and changed, Father God, we just pray continued protection over their hearts, God, and over their minds, Father God, and Father God, that they will grow strong in you, God, strong in in might and in the power of the Holy Spirit, Father God, and Lord, that they would stand steadfast. Father God, on the word of God, Father God, and Lord, standing steadfast um, in there and on their faith as well, in the name of Jesus. And I thank you for them in Jesus' name. Amen and amen. Amen. Thank okay. you so much. Thank you. Thank you so much. <laughs> Good night. Lovely to see you. <laughs> and I do see um, Principal Rusu. On, on the call, Principal Rusu, I would just like to apologize. <coughs> Good, well, morning. Good morning. <coughs> Good night. <laughs> can you hear me? Yes, we can. Yes, we can. Okay. I was on the name Principal Rusu. I didn't see that. So, hallelujah. Yeah. Yeah, praise I was, I was here. I was here. Uh, good night for you, Canada, and good morning to all other parts, and good afternoon to all other parts of, of the world. Uh, happy to be with you again. Um, actually, you know, you used to go to, to, to catch me, to get me in different places uh, during uh, this uh, prayer meeting. So today I am sitting in, uh, in the Sea of Galilee beach yes so the real one not the the gen not the the fake one like you have the zoom one the the real one of uh uh sea of galilee and you and if you have a good sight you can see jesus walk walking on the on the water but uh yes but uh actually i i would i i, I will be short i think because before everyone uh, wake up here, but uh, I'd like to read two uh, two uh, passages uh, of the God's world. One of of that I'd like to read something uh, about Jesus walks on the water. If we already see the Sea of Galilee, it's a nice place and also special place to all of us. Uh, so uh, we will read from Matthew uh, chapter 14, uh, verse 22. Uh, all the story of uh, Jesus and Petrus, Peter. Immediately he made the disciples get in the, into the boat and go before him to the other side while he dismissed the crowds. And after he had dismissed the crowds, he went up on the mountain by himself to pray. When evening came, he, wo he was there alone. But the boat by this time was a long way from the land, beaten by the waves, for the wind was against them. And in the fourth watch on the night, he came to them walking on the sea. But when disciples saw him walking on the sea, they were terrified and said, It is a ghost. And they cried out in fear. But immediately Jesus spoke to them, saying, Take heart, it is I, do not be afraid. And Peter answered him, Lord, if it is you, command me to come to you on the water. He said, Come. Go. So Peter got out of the boat, 
and walked on the water. He came to Jesus. When he saw he wind, he was afraid and beginning to sing, he cried out, Lord, save me. Jesus immediately reached out his hand and took hold of him, saying to him, Oh, you, oh, little face, why did you doubt? And when they got into the boat, the wind ceased. And those in the boat worshipped him, saying, truly, you are the son of God. So actually the Sea of Galilee, it's more Lake of Galilee or Kinneret. And, but it can be very tricky and dangerous. When the wind comes, it's, uh, it's, it's, it's really dangerous here. So uh, if you ever saw uh, this lake in winter, you can understand what happened to Peter and to another story when uh, they were thinking they're going to sing. So, but it happened here and Jesus with us, he was with Peter that time. He was his, with his disciples that time and he is today with us. So it doesn't matter where you sit. This boat can be everywhere. This wind can come from everywhere. It can come from in your um, far country, and you can sing, you can be and uh, feel like the disciples sitting in the boat and the wind around and the winter around, and we can uh, feel uncertain, afraid, because we are all human beings like disciples are. But Jesus, the same Jesus, and God, the same God, and. He just gives us his hand and save us and gives us the fields of ground, stable ground, solid ground, fields of love, fields of um, peace and hope. And we all need to tell the same like the disciples did. Truly, you are the son of God. This is the only thing we need to admit. The only thing we need to feel. The only thing we need to have in our heart. To know that he is truly son of God. So, and the second passage I'd like to read from Daniel. Daniel, the young man. Very young man who was taken from his motherland to the land of his enemies. They first killed his people, destroyed his temple, and took him to, to serve them. And probably he was, um, he made by, uh, he, he was like Enoch, and uh, he served the enemies of, of, of Israel, but he did it faithfully and he did it with God's name in his heart and the face of God. And if we read um, the chapter six, we, are to, uh, we, are, we, are, we see the story of uh, Daniel in, um, in Uh, Daniel in the king uh, in the kingdom of of uh, Mede or uh, Persian kings, and uh, in chapter six we read a very nice story. It pleased Darius to set over the kingdom one hundred twenty satraps to be brought throughout the whole kingdom, and over them three presidents, of whom Daniel was one to whom these satraps should give account, so that the king might suffer no loss. Then this Daniel became distinguished above all other presidents and satraps, because an excellent spirit was in him. And the king planned to set him over the whole kingdom. Then the presidents and satraps sought to find a ground for compla complaint against Daniel with regard to the kingdom, but they could find no ground for complaint of any fault because he was faithful and no error on fault was found on him. 
understand, this man said, we shall not find any ground for complaint against Daniel unless he find it in connection with the law of his God. So this, uh, uh, this um, translation, probably not the best translation. So of course, it's, it's, they, weren't, they weren't presidents. Uh, and um, in the best translation, and also in Hebrew, actually it was written in Aramaic, but uh, in, in Hebrew, in Aramaic, it said they couldn't find any, we, we cannot find any complaints except his face in God. The only thing they can find in him and uh, for him to be accused that he doesn't obey other gods except his own God, the God of Israel. So, and I was thinking about myself, I was thinking about us as believers, as children of God. Do people can find anything in us except our faith in God? I, I, I think they can. I think they do. I think uh, if we uh, watch deep in our hearts and souls, we can find many things that people can found in us saying, oh, you see more things except your faith in God and these, all these things probably not the, the best things and you're not something to be, to be proud of. So this is our calling today to pray for that. That people won't find in us nothing except anything except our faith, our hope, our love. And if we are going to be persecuted, and some of you already in these times, and we hear not, let's say, not beloved uh, ones because of our faith. And who knows, maybe in even a Christian country it will come and we know the persecution will come one day. Uh, because Jesus said, if they hated me, they will hate you. Cannot be other. So let people find us no guilty except the face in, of our, in, in Jesus, the face in Yeshua, the face in, in God of Israel. So today, uh, this is the first day of Sukkot. Sukkot in English is Feast of Tabernacles. This uh, feast uh, points out uh, the fact that children, the, the people of Israel, is, uh, were in a tent, temporary tent during their journey to the Promised Land. They for for forty years. They spend time in temporary tents, and this feast reminds us of great event of uh, Exodus from Egypt, and they're uh, walking into the promised land, and they uh, staying in the desert. But moreover, this feast, this uh, this biblical feast, is not only about people of Israel. It's all about all the all uh, all the world. And uh, it reminds us that one day all of us will sit in, non te in not temporary tents in the uh, permanent dwell with our Lord. Permanent tents, permanent houses. It will be very nice houses and very nice city and very nice presence with all the believers and is king of kings in the permanent kingdom, permanent house. And we will praise him. We will praise him what we for what he did for us. We will praise him about his holiness and the love we received. So let's pray today. Let's pray today and uh, give him all the praise and thanks and glory he deserves. He, he is our King of Kings. He is not only King of people of Israel. He is not only the uh, Redeemer of people of Israel. He is Redeemer of all of us, Jews and Gentiles. 
Dear Father, thank you so much for love. Thank you so much for being holy. We are asking you to be holy as you holy. We are asking you to walk in faith like uh, Peter did. He came out of the boat in faith and just was afraid because of the wind. And we can understand that because this wind can come on us as well. Every day, every moment. Uh, one day and one moment that can be very nice sunny day in our lives. And the second time and the second uh, day and the second moment that can just come the wind and winter and storm. Sometimes it's even hurricane. And we just need to watch on you, to watch, not to lose the sight on you, not to lose you in our life. And when we lose you and when we take our sight and watch another direction, we can start to think. We ask you not to remove our watch and our sight from you to be full, fully of hope and faith and know that you are here near us every day, every moment, every second of our life. Thank you so much that we change, but you never, and we want to walk with you every day. We want to be a good example for our neighbors, for our people, for our nation, for our family, like Daniel. They tried to find anything against him. He was a good example and good testimony of good faith and good and, and the people of and the and the men of God. And people don't like it. Many of many people don't like it and they try to find anything in him and they couldn't. The only thing his face. The only thing that can persecute him and can accuse him, it's only face of God. Oh God, we ask you, be like Daniel, we ask you that no one can find anything bad, sin, bad evidence, bad testimony in us, except our love to the people and to God, except our face. And if we are going to be persecuted about it, let it be but only about it. Thank you so much for this fellowship. Thank you so much for this uh, morning and nights that we can spend in prayer. Bless all the people and uh, who are persecuted, the nations, the, the brothers and sisters who are in difficult times. Bless the Christian so-called countries that also need salvation and need you as a redeemer. Bless Israel especially in this day, these days of Sukkot, they will understand the spiritual meaning of all these feasts. It's not only about Exodus. It's not only about Egypt and the desert and the promised land. It's very important. But all of them only points out on you, the Son of God. Give us, walk our path faithfully and rest in your permanent kingdom, holy and full of glory of King of Kings. Thank you so much. In the name of Yeshua, we pray. Amen. Actually, I don't know what time is it. <laughs> I I can I I can. So you still have nine more minutes. You still have nine more minutes if you would like to ask for prayer, give prayer, anything else. Um, yes, please pray for the school, of course. Uh, we start the school year and uh, for a few weeks and then we have uh, holidays again. Choose uh, like holidays and be on vacation. Uh, so uh, pray for the children and uh, uh, for the school the next school year 
Um, yeah. May I ask um, the church that you that you go to or the church that you pastor? How have things worked out? Because I know there was some there were some issues with that they might not want you in that area. Has that been resolved? I I told about one congregation, uh, right? I told you a few. It's not ours. Uh, it's in the south of the country. Um, I think they, it's like unrest, but mm -hmm. they keep going there and gathering. I am not sure that they have some uh, full solution, permanent solution. Actually, I will, I will ask and uh, and will and I will let you go, let, let you know. But um, we we haven't heard something. Uh, you know, urgent or uh, praying request uh, recently. So I believe that uh, we have actually we, in in a month we have uh, municipalities elections. So sometimes before these times uh, the municipalities uh, and the mayors uh, don't want any bad news or uh, unusual news so sometimes they put it on hold uh, till after after election thank you for sharing that so i would like to invite anybody that would like to pray for um, principal russo for his school um, for jerusalem israel for the, the municipal elections and even for um, uh, Principal Russo, your family members, your, your, your wife's family members, how are they doing that were in the Ukraine? Are they... uh, in Ukraine. Um, our, uh, my sister-in-law and the niece, uh, they could come and visit us for a few, for 10 days. So we spent, uh, last recently, we spent very nice time together. And they returned. Of course, uh, it's not easy to to live in such circumstances. Uh, they uh, they used to get regular, but you cannot get you cannot uh, feel super safe and uh, and 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 peace in 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 such uh, circumstances when you have Syrians almost every day and the uh, explosion so uh, please keep praying about ukraine and the situation because uh, it seems that russia um, they preparing to fight for many years if you see the, the news they uh, uh, go they are going to spend more than 200 if i understood right 200 billions dollars every year on the military as military uh, budget so and for the next four years so they are preparing for the long war uh, they taking from the people and build tanks so it's not new but uh, just to pray for the peace uh, people in Ukraine say we don't pray for the peace, we pray for victory. Mm -hmm. Let's pray for the peace, of course, uh, because they understand that without victory it will continue, so continue, continue. So we pray for their people, for, for, for our brothers and sisters in faith and in body and as families, uh, not in an easy situation. So uh, don't forget, sometimes when the war takes more than one month people get to forget because we live in such so many news uh, world and all the time to get the, the attention so people need some attraction all the time and and when the war come and continues for lost a long time more almost two years already people get used to this so uh, let's not 
let's won't get used to to people suffering and uh, keep them in our prayers. Thank you for reminding us. Thank you for for thinking about my family. So I, I just saw uh, Mrs. Ashfaq. I, I just saw your face there for a moment. Did you feel uh, that you would like to pray for Israel, Mrs. Ashfaq? Hallelujah. Heavenly Father, we are thankful to you for this blessful prayer meeting for all the participants, especially Heavenly Father, we pray for our beloved brother, Principal Russo. We pray for Israel and we ask abundantly blessing for this nation. We are thankful to you that you are our protector, that you are our holy God. Save us, protect us, and bless us. We pray for Jerusalem, for our beloved uh, brother Russo, to whom you have given the big responsibility. We are thankful for the school he is running. Bless him abundantly. And we pray for Israel, for the people of Israel. We are thankful for your love, for your people, O Lord Jesus Christ. And we ask abundantly blessing. We ask peace and prosperity there. We ask your merciful hand, your grace upon those people, O Lord Jesus Christ. I'm thankful for all the prayer warriors who are a part of this prayer meeting. Bless all of them, bless their families. I ask this in your powerful and mighty name. Amen. And Father God, I just lift up to you the, the school. Father God, I just want to thank you for the dedication of Principal Russo and the teachers and the admin staff, Father God. I I thank you, Father God, for the parents, God, that have been, um, Lord, I, I believe, led by the Holy Spirit, Father God, to uh, place their children um, into to this messianic jewish school father god I, I pray your blessing upon the parents i pray god that the parents too will draw closer um, to jesus father god that they would have a, a living relationship with jesus father to set an example for their own children father god and to encourage them so lord we just pray father god for a, an increase father god in in faith Father, and standing upon Jesus, the solid rock in their everyday lives, Father, in the name of Jesus, Father God. We pray, God, your protection um, over the students and over their families and over their staff, Father God, as they will have um, some holiday again before they start up the new term, Father. We thank you, God, that, um, Lord, your eyes are upon them, God. We thank you, God, that you love them. We thank you, God. Lord, that you are the protector, God. Your word says that you protect them day and night. And we thank you for that, God. That you are the one that defends them, God. That you are the one that delivers them from evil, God. And that you are the one that vindicates them, Father, in Jesus' name. And Father, even as, Lord, we think of, of Russia and the Ukraine, Father God, we pray, God, for the people of those two nations, Father God, to, to, to run to you, God, Father God, to run to the one that can give them everlasting life, Father God. Father, so we pray for many salvations in those two nations. Father God, we pray for peace, Father God, and we, we ask, Father God, that you would bring this war to an end. Father, I, I I know that a month or two, I can't remember now, but a few months ago, Father God, I just felt the Holy Spirit um, quicken me, Father God, to, to pray for the ending of the war. And I actually thought it was, it was to come, like the next time we would be on Zoom that we were supposed to do that. But Father God, I, I ask, Father God, that once again, Lord, we come before you to to ask you, God, to intervene in the situation, Father God, and Lord God, to Lord, to shut down this war, Father, in the name of Jesus, Father God, so that lives can be saved, Father God, and Father God, so that people can 
Lord, rebuild their lives, rebuild their families. Father, in the name of Jesus. Father, we pray for the peace of Jerusalem. We pray, Father God, for the municipal elections, God. We pray for righteous, righteous um, elections, righteous leaders, righteous mayors, Father God. Father God, men uh, and women of integrity and honesty and that are upright, Father, in the name of Jesus, Father God. And, and Lord, I just want to thank you for your promise in Isaiah 41, verse 13, Father, and Lord, even as Principal Rusu was talking about, um, about Jesus and Peter, Father God, and lifting him out of the water, Father, Lord, your word says, for I, the Lord your God, will hold your right hand, saying to you, fear not, I will help you. So, Father, I, I just declare these words of comfort and strength Father God, over those in, in the Ukraine and Russia, Father God, Lord, over Principal Russo and his staff and the families in his school, Father God, over the, Lord, the uh, people of, of Israel, Father God, Lord, that you will hold their right hand. Father, what an awesome, awesome promise it is, God. And you say, fear not, for I will help you. So we thank you, God, in Jesus' name. Amen and amen. So thank you very much, uh, Principal Russo and uh, thank you. else that was on, on the call tonight. Uh, thank you as well, Jen, for just doing the um, introductions and the thank yous as well. Um, I, I'm just